Hello my friends, today we are gonna be designing this beautiful blog application using React.js. It's gonna be on the design part and we are gonna use functional components and React Rotor DOM for page links. So which pages we have? We have a login page, register page and here is the home page, our posts. When I click them, it's gonna load my single post and here we have a settings page and creating new post page. Of course, everything is dysfunctional for now. And in the next tutorial, we are gonna create our own Node.js API using MongoDB. And we are gonna be able to register, login, add new post, update and delete them, update this profile information. Just design your blog application and wait for the next tutorial. So if you want to see more projects like this, you can subscribe to the channel. If you are ready, let's get started. Okay, I created new folder here and I'm gonna create my React application. I will say npx create React app. And I'm gonna use dot here. It's gonna install inside this folder and I'm gonna enter. And here I'm gonna choose my font families. First one will be Josephine. This one. I'm gonna choose all these styles, not italic ones. Okay, it's enough, I think. And second one, and let's go to home page. And here I'm gonna write. Laura, I'm gonna use just italic ones, okay, and one more, and it's gonna be Varela. So which one was that, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna choose both of them, there is only one style here, and this one, okay. So I'm going to copy this here and inside my application I will open my public folder and index.html here. After this meta I can use it. I will paste. Okay. So let's get rid of these unnecessary things. I will delete them. Let's make this a little bit smaller. I will just delete them and here let's write blog react application and this file icon okay i will save and i'm gonna clear inside this public folder i need just index html so i will choose them and delete and for source folder also it's gonna be only app and index.js. Okay, I will open my index.js and here let's delete them and this CSS file. Okay, and inside app, I will delete them and here, let's write here something, blog app. So I'm ready to run my application. I will write here yarn start. Okay, here. To get rid of these spaces, I can go to index.html and here, after this link, I can create style. And inside I will choose my document. And inside I will say margin zero. Let's try again. As you can see, there is no spaces anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna add here. Firstly, it's gonna be a top bar here. Let's create a component. In source folder, I will create new folder and it's gonna be top bar. And inside this, I'm gonna create top bar dot JSX. And one more, it's gonna be top bar dot CSS. So I'm gonna create my function, I will say RFC, 
if you want to use this shortcut you can use this VS Code extension by the way okay I will close this and here I will say top bar so let's give some class name here I will say just top maybe and inside CSS but we didn't indicate here by the way let's write here we don't need this react dot slash top bar dot CSS okay right now I can use this CSS file I'm gonna use my class name and let's say with a hundred percent and height will be 50 pixels let's give some background color and we can see better okay so how I'm gonna use this top bar I will go to my app.js and instead of this I'm gonna just write here my top bar component I will save okay something like that but I want to make this top bar a sticky bar so even if we scroll to page it's gonna be always here so let's do that I will go to CSS file and here I will say position sticky and I'm gonna indicate my position I will say top zero it's gonna stay always in this position let's see right now we can't see anything let's go to app.js and write something here let's open ptech maybe and as you can see there's a problem here because we can't use multiple elements inside a component it should be a parent div here you can write here some div or you can use react fragments like this I will come here and close this tag something like that so I can write something inside I will write here test I'm gonna duplicate this a little bit longer like that as you can see I can scroll right now I'm scrolling and as you can see top bar is always in the same place okay it works so I can delete them okay so I'm going to my CSS file and here what I'm gonna do is making this flex box I will say display flex because I wanna put every elements inside this top bar horizontally and I can center them I will say align item center okay so let's change this it's gonna be white and here I can use my font family let's come here and copy this Josephine and here I will paste okay let's check perfect so what I'm gonna put here there will be my social media icons some menu here menu items and here is gonna be my profile picture and maybe a search button I will delete this and I'm gonna create three divs here it's gonna be top left top center and right let's write here something center maybe and right okay as you can see they are horizontal so how I'm gonna split them I will go to CSS and here for top left and for top right I will say flex 3 and for center I will say flex 6 let's see right now let's give here some color maybe and I can explain better so as you can see top left and right 3 units and the center is 6 units I can give custom sizes like that of course you can write here maybe 20% for left and 20% for right and here maybe 60% for center but you can also use this flex okay I will delete this so let's give here our social media icons so how I'm gonna do this previous lessons we always used material icons let's do something different today I will write here font awesome and here I'm gonna click this one as you can see it's really nice toolkit you can use any icons you want if you come here for example let's say Facebook so you can use any of these icons you can choose here free and I wanna use this one 
So if I click this and paste here inside top bar, this left side, nothing is gonna happen. Let's check. As you can see, there is nothing. That because we are not using this font have some style. To do that, you can download this font have some style file, or you can write font have some CDN, and here just click one of them and copy this style file. Let's go to index file, index HTML here, and after this link, I will just paste this file. Okay, let's check again. As you can see, right now I can see this icon. So let's add other ones. I will say Twitter. Let's copy this. I will close them actually. We need only top bar here. And here I will paste. Let's find here maybe Pinterest. This square one again. And lastly, it's gonna be Instagram. And this square one also. Okay. So let's see right now. Perfect. So for this center, I'm gonna use a list. I will delete this and here I will say UL and class name will be top list. And inside there will be our items. First one will be home. Let's give class name of course. I will say top list item. I will duplicate this and here let's say about and here contact I will say write and lastly it's gonna be log out okay and inside this right part I'm gonna create my profile picture so I'm gonna create image you can search for an image but I'm gonna just copy and paste mine like that and here I'm gonna create another icon here let's go to font awesome and here I will say search free ones okay only option I will copy this and paste after this image okay Let's give class name for this image. I will say class name. It's gonna be top image. And for these icons, by the way, as you can see, they are not class name. Let's fix them. It's gonna be class name. And here I can give some custom class name. I will say top icon. And for this search icon, again, class name. And this time it's gonna be top search icon okay let's check let's go to css and arrange them firstly i'm gonna correct this image because it's really big i will say top image which will be 40 pixels and height 40 and it's gonna be circle so border radius it's gonna be 50% and object weight will be cover. Oops, cover. Like that. But as you can see, they are not centered. To do that, I will come here and make them display flags, align item center, and justify content center. Okay, they are vertically and horizontally centered right now. So let's take care of these icons. I will say top icons sorry icon and it's gonna be font size 20 pixels i will give some margin and color will be a little bit lighter it's gonna be 444 and i will add cursor 
something like that perfect so what about this list let's put this center here actually i will just cut this and paste here okay so i can write here my list top list is gonna be horizontal again you can use display flex or for list items you can use inline block doesn't matter but i prefer display flex so i can center them also i will say just five content center let's see okay i will delete this default margin and padding and get rid of this small dots here i will say list style it's gonna be no okay so what about these items top list item i will give some space again and font size 18 i want to reduce this font weight it's 400 by default i will make this 300 and cursor pointer again okay awesome so let's do this search icon i will say search icon it's gonna be font size 18 and color it's gonna be close to gray 666 and again cursor pointer oops search icon it's gonna be top i think if i remember correctly okay something is wrong uh-huh i didn't write pointer okay perfect so let's give space between this image and icon i will say margin left let's say 15 maybe okay nice so we finished our top bar let's take care of this header i'm gonna create another component here header and inside my css and jsx file and some of you may ask why you are using css file you can use style components or sass or whatever i know and i prefer using them but some of my audience i know they are beginner and i don't want to make them more confused in the future we are going to be using style components or material components don't worry we will do everything it's just the beginning okay i will come here and rfc i can close them by the way okay let's write here class name it's gonna be header let's write here header and let's delete this and header.css of course slash here okay so let's go to app.js right now i'm not gonna write here header because we are not gonna use this header in every pages so it's gonna be in only home page so what i'm gonna do i will create here pages folder i will say new folder it's gonna be pages and my first page will be home page again another folder home and inside this let's create our home jsx and home css and here again our fc i will delete this and home dot css slash again okay let's give class name it's gonna be home and here i'm gonna use my header component and after that let's write here home page and here after top bar i'm gonna use my home page and let's see as you can see my top bar here and my header and home page perfect so what i'm gonna add here it's gonna be some image and here there will be two titles one of them will be smaller and second one will be main title let's create them i will close this and this home okay i will come here and create another container i will say header titles 
and inside these titles I'm gonna create two spans and first one let's say react and note and one more it's gonna be just block let's give a class name header title let's say small maybe I will copy this and here it's gonna be large it can be a little bit strange but okay anyway I will not change it and here I'm gonna use some image class name header image and inside this I'm gonna copy and paste my image You can also create here maybe assets folder and put these images inside but anyway i'm gonna use like this by the way i can't see this terminal okay it's here no problem <laughs> let's check something like that but it's really huge again i will go to my css file and here firstly for header I will give some margin for top I will say 60 and for titles header titles I will say display flex but this time it's gonna be vertical so I will say flex direction it's gonna be column let's center them I will say align item center so I'm gonna change my font family here let's choose this one and color will be 444 four, four. okay and for this small one header title small I will say position absolute because I'm gonna put them around here middle of these tags will on this image so I will say top maybe 18% and font size will be 20 pixels and for big title what was the name x no just large again position absolute and top a little bit lower 20 pixels and font size it's gonna be 100 pixels okay of course we are gonna arrange this image and it's gonna be something like here let's do that header image width will be a hundred percent it's not gonna overflow and I will say height 450 oops height and margin top 8 pixels and I will say object it it's gonna be cover something like that awesome so if you're confused about these percentages don't worry I just made up this I didn't calculate anything and it's not that necessary don't worry about this okay so we finished our header also let's create some container here and inside there will be our posts and our sidebar so I will close them and here let's create another component it's gonna be sidebar sidebar.jsx and sidebar.css and one more I will say posts it's gonna contain every individual post let's create here posts jsx and CSS let's create this components RFC as we always do I will create here my CSS file and my class name and for these posts
and here posts.css. Okay, let's go to home page. Here, home page. I'm gonna take this header here outside and I'm gonna use fragments. something like that and it's gonna be our container and inside this container I will write my components posts and after that sidebar let's save and see as you can see posts and sidebar so I want to make them horizontal so I will go to home CSS here I will write home and Oops. And it's going to be display flex. Like that. So I will split them again. To do that, let's close this home. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to give some custom sizes again. So for posts, it's going to be flex 9. Again, I'm going to split into 12 parts and 9 will be posts and 3 will be sidebar. Let's go to sidebar CSS and here flags 3. Oops. Okay. Perfect. So I want to make this sidebar first. I will go to JSX file here and I'm going to create a container. It's going to be sidebar item. And inside, let's write here a span and it's going to be sidebar title. And I will say about me. And I'm going to create an image here. Image. And I'm going to paste my image. And after that, it's going to be some text here. Let's create p tag. And inside, I will say lorem. And it's going to create a random text here. Like that. But it's really long. Let's make this smaller. Okay, so it's gonna be our first item. I can see my image by the way. Oops, let's delete this. Okay, it's here. So let's create second item. It's gonna be our categories. I will say sidebar item. And inside, again, it's gonna be this title. And this time it's gonna be Categories, capital of course, categories, and after that, let's create your UL, it's gonna be sidebar list, and inside li sidebar list item. And here I'm gonna write my categories, let's say live, let's duplicate this and maybe music, style, sport, what else, cinema and tech. So we finished our second item and one more time. Again, I'm going to create sidebar item and this one will be follow us. Let's create here social container, sidebar social, and inside again my icons. So I'm gonna open my top bar here. I will just copy and paste them. Okay, I can close and here. So let's change this icon class names. It's gonna be sidebar icon. Okay, let's check. Something like that. I will go to CSS file and firstly I'm gonna give some margin and I will give some space for bottom, padding bottom 30 pixels and background color FT, FB and FB. Something like that. It's really close to white but it's not. <laughs> okay. So I will say border radius is gonna be 10 pixels. I will make this display flags and it's gonna be again vertical and align item center okay 
So for the items, sidebar item, it's gonna be again display flags, flags direction column, and align item center. Right now they are centered also, perfect. And for title, for each title, I will give margin and padding, and width is gonna be not a hundred percent, it's gonna be eighty percent. I will give some border, but not for right and left. It's going to be only top and bottom. Border top, one pixel, solid. And it's going to be A7, A4, A4. Perfect. So I'm going to do the same thing for bottom. Bottom. Perfect. So I'm going to change my font family. Let's come here and I will copy this and paste here. I will reduce this font size and color will be 222 two, two. and font weight 600. So I can give some line height maybe. It's gonna be 20 pixels. Okay, perfect. Maybe I can center this text align center. Good. So what about this image? I didn't give any class name, I think, but I can use sidebar here. I can show the usage of this maybe. Image. Then I will say margin top. So basically it chooses this parent and inside every images. Okay, so I can do the same thing for P tag sidebar and P tag. I will give some padding. Oops, something is wrong. Now it's gonna be item, not sidebar. Okay, so what about this list? I will come here, sidebar list. I will say list style type or list style, it's gonna be known. And I will give margin bottom, it's gonna be 30. Okay, again, you can write here display flex, but I can show you another solution. I will say list, sidebar list item, and I will say display inline block. As you can see, they are horizontal right now. And I will give width for each. This is first element, 50% and 50%. So they are gonna contain this line and others will be in another line. Perfect. I will give margin top like that. And it's gonna be cursor pointer. Nice. I will say sidebar social. As you remember, it's our icon container. I will say again margin top and with 250 I will make this flex box and center them. And here I will say sidebar icon and it's gonna be font size 16 and margin left 15. Maybe 10. Okay, it's better. Again, cursor pointer. Perfect. It's really minimal. I like it. So what about these posts? So let's close them. And here I will say post. And next to it is gonna be CSS file. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna create anything inside this post. Instead of this, I'm gonna create another component here. It's gonna be just post. And inside post.jsx and CSS. By the way, I forgot creating components folder here. It's directly inside the source folder, but anyway, it's not a big problem. We can move them later. Okay, so I will create my RFC here and my CSS.
it's gonna be post again and I will write here post so here I can write my post component but it's not gonna be only one let's create four five six okay so right now I can close this and for this post JSX I'm gonna create one image inside and here I will paste my image let's give a class name post image and after this image I'm gonna create info container and it's gonna contain our categories and our title and timestamps maybe so let's create this post info and here I will say post categories let's say just shortcut cats and inside every individual post category I will say span and it's gonna be post cat and first one will be let's say music and second one live okay so it's our first element inside post info second one will be our post title again span post title and that's right here maybe lorem but it's gonna be really long I will delete them maybe only here okay so after this title I'm gonna write here HR it's gonna add a line and here I will say again span and it's gonna be post date and that's right here maybe date but I wanna write like one hour ago like social media application let's see okay something wrong let's check this CSS of course I forgot this dot here okay perfect so let's go to CSS file and here for our container it's gonna be with 375 and I will give some margin but this margin will be different for each side for example for top it's gonna be 0 for right 25 something like that so I will say just margin and for top 0 right and bottom and left okay it's really big because of this image again I will make this quickly post image which will be a hundred percent and height 280 and again object width cover and let's give some border radius maybe not 10 let's try actually maybe less okay it's better so what about this post info I will make them flexbox post info of course it's gonna be column it's gonna be vertical and I will center them like that first one second element our title and timestamp okay so let's take care of this post category I will use another font family here I will copy this and inside and font size will be 11 and color is gonna be something like gold be 96 and 56 okay I will give line height 20 pixels and margin top will be 15 oops it's not top and margin right will be 10 let's make this cursor pointer something like that right now they are separated so for this title let's write here post title I will change again this font family it's gonna be Josephine I will copy and paste and font size is gonna be bigger and font rate will be which one we used here let's check 700 so let's use it 
I will give margin top something like that and here cursor pointer okay what about this date I will say post date I will change again it's gonna be Laura and font style will be italic and font size 13 let's check actually okay and color will be gray let's say 999 and margin top of course like that so we forgot here our description let's add this after this div i will create here p tag and i'll say lorem and it's gonna be class name post description i will copy this and here i will choose this varela round and font size 14 and color will be 444 let's check okay but i will give some line height line height 24 okay i will give margin top so what i can do here more for example our post description it's not that short i will copy this and paste again and again something like that but i don't want to write all these lines here so what i'm gonna do here i will go to css and i'm gonna write here overflow hidden first and then i will say text overflow it's gonna be ellipsis and i will say display webkit box and webkit line clump it's gonna be just four lines and webkit box orient and it's gonna be vertical let's see right now as you can see it's only four lines and others will be shown as dot 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 perfect if i make this five lines as you can see nice let's make it four oops okay so right now as you can see they are vertical each line will be two posts so i will go to posts css as you remember it's our container what i will do here i will say display flags and this time i will say flex wrap and it's gonna be wrap this means use whole line hold this horizontal row but if this children widths bigger than this parent line it's gonna move them in the other row like this so if i make them for example 200 pixels for this width there will be maybe three items here and next three will be in another row nice so i can give some margin here it looks weird i will say margin 20 pixels okay it's much better it looks really nice but there is a problem here as you can see for this top bar it looks under this text let's fix it i will go to my top bar css and only thing i should do is giving here z index if i write here 999 for example it's gonna be over everything inside this website like this awesome so we finished our top bar header posts and this sidebar let's create single post when i click one of them we are gonna go to single post and we can read our blog post there so let's create this so let's create here another page actually i will close them and i'm gonna create components folder here components and it will be header inside actually i will choose all of these components and move inside this components folder 
Okay, if I refresh this, there will be an error here because our paths are different. So I will go to home page, pages and home and here. I'm going to add here components folder. Let's copy this and here and here. There will be still error. Let's check here. That because we are using top bar inside app.js, I should write here components also. Okay, right now everything is perfect. Let's check here, I will refresh. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna create this single page. I will close all of this and for pages, new folder, and I will write single. And inside my JSX and CSS, single JSX and single.css. Let's create function RFC and my CSS file and let's give class name here. It's going to be single again. I will write something and let's go to app.js and right now it's not going to be home page. I will change this. It's going to be single. Let's see right now. As you can see, it's here. So what I'm going to add here is going to be our post. And this side, I'm going to add again this sidebar. Let's go to single.js and inside it will be our post. And after I will add here sidebar component. Okay, I should add this manually. Import sidebar and from here, it's not here, components and sidebar. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna add here one more component. Let's create our single post component. Single post, JSX, oops, typo, post, and CSS. Okay, let's create our function here. It's gonna be single post, CSS, and finally my class name. Okay, right now I can add this component here. I will say single post. Let's see. Okay, perfect. And again, I will make here display flex and I'm gonna give flex nine for this single post. And this sidebar is also flex three. Let's go to single post. And here I will copy this class name. And here I will say flex it's gonna be nine. Nothing has changed because we didn't make here display flex. Let's move this here and single container. It's gonna be display flex. Okay, perfect. So I can close right now this single page. And inside this component, what I'm gonna add here. Firstly, I wanna add here a wrapper because I'm gonna give some padding I will say single post wrapper and inside let's create an image single post image and I'm gonna paste my image here and after this image it's gonna be a title h1 single post title let's write here lorem and I will delete this just like that let's see okay perfect so what else i can add here i can add here update and delete buttons so i will go to font epsom and here i will write edit
So this is nice. I will choose this. Let's copy. And at the same time, I will write here delete. So inside this h1 tag, I can create my editing container. I will say single post edit container. Oops, dot or just edit. And inside, I will paste it. And it's gonna be one more, this one. Let's copy this and paste. Let's see. Okay, they are here. Later, I'm gonna move them here. Let's give them first class name. And it's gonna be, let's say, single post icon. Okay, nice. And after this title, I'm gonna add my information, my name and timestamp. So let's create a container. I will say single post uh, info. And inside, it's gonna be my author name. Then it's gonna be author and my name but it's gonna be bold so i will write here bold tag and name oops there's a typo here and here is gonna be class name single post author so i will duplicate this it's gonna be single post date and here i will delete them and one or echo let's see okay after that there will be description p tag and i will write lorem it's gonna generate random sentences but it's not enough maybe like that okay nice so let's go to css and change the styles i will write here first single post wrapper I will give padding 20 pixels, but padding right will be zero. I don't want a padding for right side. Padding right zero. It's overflowing here. That's because our image is really big. Let's make this smaller. I will say single post image. Width will be 100%. Right now it's perfect. And height will be 300. And I will give border radius. It's going to be just five pixels. And object width is going to be color. Perfect. And for this title, single post title, let's move this here. Firstly, I'm going to center this text align center. And I will give some margin. Perfect. I will copy my Laura here, this font family. And font size let's say 20 pixels okay it's small maybe 28 but this italic version mm, i'm not sure let's check here as you can see laura is italic i can change it i can go to google fonts actually i can write by manually here 0 and 1 okay it's better writing yeah so let's take care of these icons i will close this and here i will say single post what was the name this container single post edit and here i will say float right i'm gonna move them to right like this and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, font size 16. Okay, perfect. So I can separate them. I will say single post icon and margin left or right, doesn't matter. Let's say 10 and cursor will be pointer. Okay, so I can change these colors. To do that, I can give different class names for this, for example, edit icon, delete icon, but I can do one more thing, one more solution. 
I will just choose this icon and I'm gonna use here first child. So it's gonna choose our first icon here and this is our last child. So what I will say, color, let's say teal. Oops, teal. And for last child, I will say color tomato. Okay, perfect. So what about this info? Single post info, this is our container, remember? I will say margin bottom, 20 pixels. And it's gonna be display flags. So how I'm gonna separate them? My name will be here and date will be here. So if I write here justify content space between, it's gonna be separated. Perfect. Let's give font size 16 and color again this golden color BA925. Sorry, 96 and 56. And I will change this font family. I will copy this Varela and paste here. Perfect. Let's come this description. Single post description. I will say color 666 and font size will be maybe 18. Let's see first. Nothing has changed. That because we didn't give class name. Single post description. Let's check again. Okay. So one more thing. I will give line height. It's gonna be 25. Okay. Right now I will do something different here. I will give style for this first letter. So to do that I will say single post description and here I will say first letter and let's say margin left 20 pixels. It's gonna be some space here. Perfect. And I will change font size. It's gonna be 30 and font rate 600. Oops, what I did. Font weight. It's not pixels. Okay, perfect. It's much better. So everything looks really nice. So what else I can do? Add a right page. By the way, something is wrong with this font width. It should be lighter. I did some mistake I think inside this index HTML. Here I wrote this manually, but I should delete this. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, perfect. So I can close this and when I click this right button, we are gonna go to right page. Let's create another page here. Oops. I will say new folder, right. Write.jsx. Write.css. So let's close here and create my function. RFC. And my style. Dot slash write dot CSS. And here class name. I will say write. And let's write here something. This time, if I go to app.js, I will change here. It's gonna be right. Let's see. Perfect. So I will do something different here. It's not gonna be ordinary full page input or text area. It's gonna be something simple, like medium.com. So what I will do here, I'm gonna create first a form. I'll say form. There will be no action. Class name, let's say right form. And inside this form, I will create a container. It's gonna be right form group. There will be two groups. First one will be for title, and second one will be for text area. 
for description. But for title, we can also add some images. So I will add here a button. So what I will do, I'm going to add an input. It's not going to be text, it's going to be file. And here, let's delete this name. And for ID, I will say file input. And after that, again, some input. And this time it's going to be text because it's our title. I will give placeholder. It's going to be title. Let's save and see. Something like that. But I don't want to see this choose file button. So how I can hide this? I will come here and create here a label. And for this HTML for area, I'm going to write here my ID, this ID. And here I'm going to add my icon. If I go to font FSM and write here add. I will choose here free ones. And this one. Let's copy and paste here. Okay. So if I go to my application, even if I click here, it's going to open my folders, as you can see. So right now I can hide this button and this text. To do that, I will go to input. You can give class name or also you can write here style directly. I will say display none. Let's see. Awesome. There is only this button here. Perfect. So for this title, I will say class name. It's going to be right input. And I will say autofocus. And it's going to be true. So whenever I refresh the page, it's automatically focus on this title. Perfect. So I'm going to create another form group. I will say write form group. And this time I need just text area. And I will delete them. Maybe just placeholder. I will say tell your story. And type will be text and class name is going to be write input also. But additionally, I will give another one. I will say write text. And finally, I'm going to add a button here. I will say button and class name will be write submit. And I will say publish. Let's see. Okay. Let's go to CSS file. For my container, write. I will say padding top 50. Okay. And for this form, write form. I'm not going to write anything right now, but later we are going to update this. It's going to be form, of course. Okay. And for each group, I will say right form group I will give some margin it's gonna be margin left okay perfect I will center them display flags align item center and for the icon let's come here and give icon class name here I will say right icon And it's going to be with 25, height 25, it's going to be circle, 50%. And I will give border. It's going to be one pixel and solid. Let's see. Okay. So I can center this icon, display flags, align item center, justify content center. Okay, good. But they are in different lines. Let's make this display flags and align item center. Perfect. So I will change this icon size, font size 20 pixels, and color will be a little bit grayish, maybe softer like that. No, it's too much.
okay this is good so i will say cursor pointer so we can click perfect so what about these inputs let's make them i will say write input font size will be 30 pixels and i don't want any border like this maybe some padding oops too many okay and i will say width 70 vw so it's going to end around here perfect so when i click this i don't want to see this outline so what i will do i will say right input and here focus when i focus this outline will be none awesome let's arrange this text i will say write text and font size will be a little bit smaller like this perfect so let's make this button i will say write submit and i will say position absolute because i'm gonna put this around here so if you are using absolute positioning the parents should be position relative otherwise if i say top zero for example it's gonna go to here not here so after this i will say top 20 let's see as you can see it's here not here and i will say right 50 perfect i will say text color will be white and background color will be teal and i will give padding let's get rid of these borders none and border radius is going to be 10 pixels perfect i will say cursor pointer and font size maybe bigger okay nice so what i will do if i click here and choose any image for example this one i want to see this here we are going to make this after javascript operations but right now for design we can add here let's go to jsx file and before form i'm going to create image and inside i'm going to paste my link and let's give class name it's going to be right image something like that i will copy this and in this css file maybe not here after this right container i will say margin left again 150 and width will be not full size but 70 vw and height will be 250 and i will give border radius it's going to be 10 pixels and finally object width cover perfect if i don't write here cover it's going to look like this it looks really strange i will just say cover it's gonna just crop this image and show it a little bit better okay so i can't scroll here it looks a little bit strange maybe i can write here in the text height 100 vh maybe maybe less but i think it's nice perfect so what else i can do we have login and register page and also our setting page when i click my profile picture here i will go to settings page and i can update my user information so let's do that let's open this up and here inside pages one more page actually three more but for now i will just say settings settings jsx 
settings.css. Let's close them and here start again. Okay, I will say RFC. I will delete this and write my CSS file. It's going to be settings. So let's go to app.js and change it again. Oops. Settings. It can be singular or plural. I will change this. It's going to be settings. Okay. Let's change it. And here. Okay. Let's see. It's here. So I'm going to write here wrapper. Let's close it. And here settings wrapper. And after that, I'm going to add again sidebar. Okay, let's copy this and here import it uh, from components sidebar and sidebar so i will do the same thing here for settings container it's going to be display flags and for wrapper flags will be nine okay it didn't work it's going to be settings okay nice so what i'm gonna add here it's gonna be update user title and then and here maybe delete button and after that my profile picture my name email password something like that so what i will do inside this i will say settings title it's gonna contain my main title and delete title so I will say span settings update title. I will say update your account. And one more, it's going to be delayed account. So I will change it. And here it's going to be delayed. So after these titles, I'm going to create a form and it's going to be settings form. I will delete this. And here, let's give a label. There is no HTML for it's going to be just profile picture. And after that, I'm going to create a container because first one will be our current image, current profile picture, and second one will be add new one button so here i will create a div it's going to be settings profile picture and inside image let's paste my image here and after that my icon i will say label again i'm gonna hide actual button to do that i will do the same thing file input and inside let's write here user And here I will choose free and this one. Let's copy this. I will change this class name and it's going to be settings profile picture icon. Okay. So again, I'm going to create input, but I will hide this i will say input it's gonna be file and id will be file input let's see okay it's here i will hide this style i will close and i will say display none okay perfect if i click this File input, okay, there is type again. 
Okay, perfect. Here I will say label again. It's gonna be let's do it this username. I will create input and it's gonna be type text and placeholder. Let's say Suffolk here. And I will copy this and paste again and again. It's gonna be email. Type will be email. gmail.com let's make this lowercase and here finally password that will be no placeholder and it's gonna be password like this perfect and finally inside this form I'm gonna create a button and it's gonna be settings submit and I will say update so let's go to CSS file and here for a wrapper I will give some padding like that for title remember it's our title container it's gonna be display flex because update will be here and delete will be here so I line item center and just by content it's gonna be space between so what about this update text what was the name let's check here settings update title I will say font size 30 and margin bottom 20 pixels and color it's gonna be light coral like that so what about this small one it's gonna be settings delayed title uh, color will be red uh, font size let's say 12 and uh, cursor pointer okay so for this one I'm gonna make this flexbox and vertical settings form it's gonna be display flex uh, flex direction will be column like that and for this profile picture container settings profile picture again display flex as you can see our icon is here they are horizontal and align item center again I will center them margin top and margin bottom Actually, I can write here margin 10 pixels and 0. From top and bottom 10, right and left is 0. Okay. So again, I will write this profile picture, but I will use image inside this container. Width will be 70, height will be 70. I will not make this circle, but I will give some radius 20 pixels and object width like that so this icon settings profile picture icon what was the name let's check first Pro okay it's correct icon width 25 height 25 border radius 50 I will give background color okay I can center this but before I will give text color it's gonna be just white display flex align item center and just white content center also I will give space here margin left 10 and I can click this so I will say cursor pointer perfect if I click I can choose any image here and I can change it okay so for this labels I will say settings form and it's gonna be label let's move this here I will say font size 20 and margin top 20 okay so for inputs I will say settings form and input it's gonna be color gray and I will say margin 
10 pixels and 0 and height will be 30 pixels let's see something like that I don't want any border let's delete this border it's gonna be none but I will give just bottom border I will say border bottom one pixel solid and light gray okay nice and for this button settings button it was button or submit let's check okay submit I will say with 150 how can I center this I will say align self center because it's only one item we are not centering inside items and I will say border none and border radius 10 pixels and font color will be white and background color teal okay I will give padding and margin top 20 maybe like that cursor pointer okay nice so we've finished this settings page we need just register and login page so let's create login page pages login here quickly login JSX and CSS I will write here RFC I will delete this and my CSS file login.css and here class name login and login so inside application I will write here login component let's see okay perfect so what I will do here I will delete this and here I'm gonna create a form it's gonna be login form let's delete this action and inside form it's gonna be email password and button I will say label it's gonna be email and here input it's gonna be text and placeholder let's write here email or enter your email let's choose them and duplicate here it's gonna be password this type will be password because we are gonna hide this and enter your password okay and after this there will be a button I will say button and login button and it's gonna be login and one more button after this form it's gonna be register and class name will be login register button okay so let's see something like that I will go to my login CSS let's close them I will say login let's decide our height if I write here 100 VH it's gonna overflow that because our top bar is 50 pixels so what I will do I will say height calculate it's not gonna be 100 VH it's gonna be 100 VH minus 50 pixels so I will make this display flags flags direction column let's see first something like that I will say just try content center also okay so let's give background image here I will say background and URL I will copy and paste this URL okay as you can see it's repeating what I will do I will say background size 
it's gonna be cover okay nice but as you can see it's really sharp maybe i can give some linear gradient here before this url i will say linear gradient and here comma and inside this i will say rgba is gonna be light and opacity will be 0 0.5 and i will copy this and paste again So let's see right now, as you can see, it's better right now. So let's add here a title. I forgot adding title here. Before this form, I will say span login title. Span and here login. I will copy this and here it's going to be font size 50 okay i will say login form i will give some margin margin top 20 pixels and again display flex flex direction column okay let's take care of these labels again login form is gonna be label here and i will say margin top and bottom will be 10 and right and left will be zero okay so this inputs i will say login input is going to be 10 background color white and there will be no border none okay we didn't give i think this class name let's check yes we didn't Uh, for this also class name login input let's check okay perfect and for the button i will say login button margin top 20 cursor pointer and background color it's gonna be light coral let's see okay we can delete this border and font color will be white like this maybe border radius okay but as you can see they are really huge what's wrong here flags ah i forgot all the items okay perfect but I should give some padding for this login, I think. Padding 10. Okay, nice. So what about this one? I will write here. Login register button. It's going to be position absolute. That because I'm going to move this around here. I will say top 60 and write 20. Okay. So background color, let's say teal and cursor pointer again. Let's delete this border. Okay, again padding tan and color white. Nice. I can give border radius. I will say border radius 10 pixels okay right now when i click this we are going to go to register page let's create this also actually i can copy this and paste and it's going to be register register css and register jsx okay let's change them i will choose all of this and it's going to be register and this will be capital and this and here will be login and I will change this okay so for this CSS again 
I will choose them and it's gonna be register and for this last button register login button but this time it's gonna be light coral and this one will be teal let's change this it's gonna be register page okay let's try okay perfect but this time I'm gonna add additional information let's come here and I will copy this and this time it's gonna be username texts enter your username okay nice and I can change this background here I will delete this and instead of this image I will paste another one perfect so we finished our whole pages so what about these links when I click this I'm not going anywhere or here or here so let's take care of them to do that I'm gonna add here a library I'm gonna open new terminal here and here I will say yarn add react rotor DOM okay it's ready I can close them so how I'm gonna use them as you can see we should import these elements from react rotor DOM I will copy and paste here Firstly, we should cover everything inside this app.js with rotor component. Let's do this. I don't need this fragment anymore. I will write here rotor. Okay, top bar will be in every pages, so I'm not gonna touch here. And after that, let's see. As you can see, we can switch between all these components. To do that, we are gonna cover them with switch. And after that, we are gonna root for every components for every pages I will say switch I will open tag and switch let's delete this register for now and here I'm gonna use this route let's paste here right now I can use my home page so what's my path here it's gonna be just slash I will save and here my application as you can see it's slash and it's coming to home page so let's do the same thing for others if I write here for register for example and register page if I do that it's not gonna work properly let's write here register as you can see it's home page again that because it looks at this slash first and it decides okay this is home page but actually it's not there is more here so what I should do here I should write here just exact as you can see we are in register page right now so let's do the same thing for others for login login something like that I will copy this and for write I will call my write page and for settings it's gonna be settings page and lastly I'm gonna use post but one difference I can indicate here some parameters if I write here slash and column and I will say here post ID and I'm gonna call my single page so let's write here post and one two three for example it's going to single page if I change this as you can see it's still here but after this class we are gonna decide which post ID we are reading here and after that we are gonna be fetching this exact data according to this ID perfect so what can we do here more I will create here 
a sudo user I will say const user and it's gonna be false we are doing design right now we don't have any user right now after login it's just for a test don't worry about this it means there is no logged in user so I will do some conditions here if there is a user here does it make sense to go register page again? For example, you are logged in and when you write here register, you are going to register page. Does it make sense? I don't think so. Because we are already logged in, we shouldn't register anymore. So what I will do here, I will cover this with color brackets and here I will say if there is a user don't go to the register page, go to home page. If there is no, you can go to register. So let's test. I can go right now if I make this true, which means we are logged in. As you can see, even if I write here register, I'm going to home page. Awesome. So I will do the same thing for login. If there is a user, we shouldn't go there. So what about this write and settings? I will do totally opposite thing. I will delete this and here. And right now, if there is a user, we can go to write page because we are allowed to write something. So right now, I will write here. Write, if there is no user, it's gonna go to register page. For example, if I write here. Write, as you can see, I can go here. That because we are logged in. If it's false, as you can see, have some. So it's gonna be same thing for settings. If there is a user, it can go to settings page. If there is no, it's gonna be register page. And for this single page, we don't need any condition because everyone can see this page. So have some. So we are done with these routers. What about these links? Let's go to top bar. And again, I'm gonna create sudo user here, const user, let's say true. And here, they're gonna be link. I will copy this and here, what I will write here, just link. Let's close this. And here, as you can see, it's importing this from React Router DOM. So if I write here home and my URL here, it's gonna be just slash, which means home page. Let's try. As you can see, it's like an anchor tag. If I click, I'm going to home page. But as you can see, it has some default style here, but I don't wanna use this. If I write here style, And if I say text decoration, it's going to be non. And I don't want this blue color. If I say color, and it's going to inherit from its parents, which is top list item here. And I will write here inherit. Awesome. But we are going to use this link around everywhere here for this post, these categories login and register pages. So I don't wanna write this style here. I will just delete this. And if I go to index.html here, I will create a style. And here I will write here dot link, this class name. I will say text decoration, none. And color will be inherit. Okay, so it's our global class name right now, so I can use it everywhere. If I say class name link, as you can see, it's totally same thing. Let's do the same thing for others. I will copy this about contact. And right, so right now 
I can make here some condition. I will say if there is a user, you can write here log out. If there is no user, let's make this false. As you can see, it's disappeared. Perfect. So let's change this. It's going to be right. And here also, if there is no user, let's make this false. We shouldn't see this user image here. So what I will do, I will come here and say, if there is a user, use this image. I will move this here. So if there is no user, I'm going to write here some links. I will paste and this one will be login and second one will be register. As I said before, we can't use multiple components. We should write here fragments. And here it's going to be login and register. Let's see. Okay, but they look strange because we didn't use this list here. So let's do this. Actually, we don't need this fragments anymore. I will say ul and class name will be same class name. What was the name? Top list item. And for these links, it's going to be li and class name top list item. Sorry, it's going to be list, it's going to be item. And I'm going to move this. And again, I will paste this and here register and register. So I don't need this anymore. Okay, perfect. When I click, I'm going to login page, register, write. Oops, I can't go to write because in app.js our user is false. Okay, perfect. And for login and register page also, here I will say link, it's going to be register. I should import this. And two is going to be register. I will copy this and for register page, I will delete and here this time it's going to be login and here login and my link I will import. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay. I didn't save it. As you can see, I didn't give any class name here. It's going to be link. Let's copy this and for register page. Okay, perfect. I will click. As you can see, it works perfect. Okay. So that's all, I think. And when you click them, you can add here link and go to single post. And it can be homework for you. <laughs> I'm really tired. And for these categories, for example, when you click them, you can go to posts. But this time, you can add here some parameter, maybe, and say cut ID music, maybe, something like that. Or when you click username inside this single post, you can write maybe username John something like that. I'm not going to add them right now because we are going to be using Node.js API in the next lesson. So we are going to fetch all these data. But as I said, it can be homework for you. You can add these links. So what else? There is nothing more, I think. Maybe you can add about and contact page. It's not important for now. So that's all. So we finished this project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please like the video and if you want to see some more, you can subscribe the channel. And by the way, I would be appreciated if you join our Facebook group. It's new, you can ask your questions there or get inspiration from another users or from me. So that's all. 
I hope I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.